set up the infamous Rockman Marco match that led to the F clip. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, some other just unexpected losses. It kind of does dovetail Pete's reputation as being a character that is excellent, but somewhat inconsistent. But I'd like to see if Raza is able to uh, right the ship here and uh, give Big Boss an excellent fight. Yeah, Raza does have a very good out of region record. Of course, took down ZD at MSM 240. So with another out of region player up against him, he's looking uh -oh. to repeat the feat. The Big Boss is trying to mirror Leo with this excellent start to his game. Fair? Is he able, is Raza going to be off the ledge? He's not, because that side B is to just have an abnormal amount of force. It gets so much base knockback. Okay, Raza oh, just no! on fire. <laughs> these these uh, peach toss combos, the Z-Grass, the, the Regrass man, it's so good, it's just leaving me completely tongue-tied. <laughs> yeah, nearly found that instant response, but still swinging the 89, Raza Playing this one so well with that down tilt fair. I love the sounds when that, that sequence hits, too. Woo! Excellent uh, movement there by Raza. Of course, shield drop, but Big Boss popping him up, up tilt up air. Wow! He knew exactly where Raza wanted to be in space, and Raza using the parasol to force his way back to stage. Grabs that one down tilt very bold. Now, these two are just going back and forth with their excellent advantage screen and uh, combo games. Oh, okay, Raza would be like, take this. <laughs> I mean, if you are a Peach main, you have to be adept at catching items. Like, showing that, but goes through with that up air through the ledge and actually landing you on stage in the process. To, you have uh, Raza take this out there, but you have to be so careful about Rob's options when recovering low. And you have to be ready for the side B rotor arms at all times. Raza just staying caught, unawares. Big Boss might be seeing the road to victory here in game one. But Raza fighting right back, forcing Big Boss to, boss to ledge. Rolls around a second roll, this time to recollect the gyro, but rolls out to avoid any further follow-up. Couldn't avoid that, though. Oh, wait. Raza at ledge, Big Boss holding court center stage. Nice jump call out from Razo. Big Boss, oh, he almost had the snipe out deep. Here comes some turn up again. An excellent evasion by Big Boss. That's the one drawback about Rob is that he has a very large and tall hurt box. Yes. So projectiles with oomph can definitely make him suffer. Wow, that laser was pinpoint. Yeah, and some of those arcing turnips, Raza doing a good job of getting himself set up around that minefield that Gyro sometimes presents yeah, itself Yeah, and then using down tilt to extend the sequence, and then the exclamation point turnip toss. Rinse and repeat, Raza right back in. What was a game that felt like Big Boss might be running away with it? Feels very, very close to Raza starting to open it back up. Aggressive back air, a couple ones, and another one extends off that down air facing backwards. Nice, uh, nice uh, short retreat from Big Boss right there. Raza able to use that jab so well too, just to be, be able to just create a little space to get a turn up. Oh no, he unluckily tried to grab the gyro and Big Boss almost managed to get the killing sequence. This might do it! Up air? And that move is so huge and so fast, and it's just a 50-50. There's -50. shit too much about it. It's absolutely terrifying, and especially when you're that close to the ledge, you know, you expect when you're at center stage, you have a bit of room to play with, but get that one wrong and your stock is vaporized. I mean, you just say, oh, Raza should have just mixed up his mash, and it's kind of like, again, it's a 50-50. <laughs> I mean, can you? And uh, I think that's the first grab that Big Boss found. It's, uh, Definitely the first drop he found at Hyper Sang, so. Yeah, it was. That said, let's see if game number two is going to be a different story or if Big Boss. Is, I mean, the thing is that Big Boss got off to an excellent start just catching Razo um, unawares, but he wasn't able to use the rotor arms very well outside of that. That said, Big Boss just keeps holding on to that shotgun shell side B in his holster and just fires it whenever he catches Razo off stage. It doesn't matter how prepared you are, because usually when Rob goes for it, it lands. Let's just see if game number two is going to be a different story, though. One, go. All right, we're oh. Big Boss like, nah, bro, you're not going to get into the skies. I'm just going to ferry you until you sit on the ground. Swallowing him up, hitbox after hitbox. Oh, man, I feel like we're going to see a side B here, but not quite. Razo will stay to center stage, all the center stage. Big Boss demonstrating uh, Rob's movement by just 
overtaking Raza for stage control. Right now, we're just jockeying for position. The lasers are coming out. Trinity's a back air by Raza to basically just wall his way in. First down air, that down tilt to Nair. Uh, Raza has to be careful because some of the times he's gone for gyro pickups, he's not been able to really get it, and it's allowed Big Boss an opportunity to forge a greater lead. Lovely spacing on that back there. Outranges the down tilt after he goes in. Yeah, I mean, you'd hope it would outrange the down tilt, but Rob down tilt is just a menace of a move, Rob. Why does Rob have such good of a down tilt? <laughs> The action is fast and furious right now, folks. Both players try to take control of the skies. Excellent use. Oh my gosh, and finally Rosal able to avoid the ground comp fall up, but Big Boss immediately turning into a possible platform back there call out. There's that dot eyes. This time goes for the up throw. Interesting, he maybe thought he was close enough to platform to get it, but I don't think that was the case. Also, PS2 has such high blast zones that it might have been a win of a prayer. Rosler getting the perfect spacing on that fair in order to take full control of the stage. This time set up on the platform, so Big Boss had that capability to go low. Rosler has to go high and burn that jump. Oh, and he's just able to swing back to avoid the punch at ledge, but not able to avoid the loving embrace of Big Boss's grab, those arms. And even though he's finding some of these com or would be combo starters, Gyro just there to interrupt. Uh, that's the case for Rob. Wow, that is an excellent trade for Razo, and he gets to take control of Gyro while he's at it. No! Uh -oh. Oh, he oh, man, he did just enough verticality on that upbeat to survive getting spiked right there at an early percent. That would have been so dangerous! Oh, Razo almost avoided the side beat, but I think his response pulled his hurt box in. Yeah, and as much praise as you have to give Razo for keeping his jump that whole time, you have to recognize what Big Boss did at the perfect height and at the perfect time. Yeah, and look at this. Razo has to retreat in order to get turn up, and it just allows Rob the perfect opportunity to just get started. Down tilt again, that oh, drag no. down up air, further damage. Razo's combo game is unparalleled amongst Peach games, man. Good parry as well on that Nair, allows him to get one turn up off. Razo, excellent use of down air there, and he manages to Pit, uh, pinpoint perfectly Bob and Weaver's way to that fair for the kill. Yeah, that movement with that downward angle to air dodge, putting him in the perfect position. Okay, and Razo's taking full control of this game, Braun. He's bringing it back. He's brought it all the way back, now in the lead. He actually snuck underneath. Oh, he almost got the, I think he wanted the turn of free toss. It's not quite gonna get that fair as well. Oh my gosh, he tried to hard read the Peach Bomber. Big Boss trying to recover low. Yeah, that's the thing about Rob's options from below are so good that Brazo couldn't threaten them. I bet you Brazo probably wanted a, a, a turnip toss back there to redo that situation. But it doesn't matter because Big Boss is back off stage. Brazo trying to get the snipe. He's hanging out on stage, threatening again, floating in and out. And he, the fair is going to do it. Oh, no. Good. Big Boss holding on. The eyes to the corner, but perhaps will not live another one. I said Brazo's also in kill range for Rob. He has to avoid being grabbed. Very nervy for both players. <laughs> and Razo just just showing his expertise and being able to find that opportunity to catch Big Boss, trying to drop shield to retreat again. That's gonna do it for game number two. Second back air, that time, you know, it's so quick and as much time as you have to fade back, Big Boss just wasn't able to even react in time. Make that decision, you have to make it in a split second. If you guess wrong, you're gone at once. He was doing so good at the, towards the end of trying to hold that last bit of space. And this goes to show that beating these players of Big Boss's caliber is a Herculean effort. <laughs> On the Smashville for game three, and that, this one, you'd have to imagine with a smaller stage, it's gonna produce perhaps a quicker battle than game two was, but. Yeah, I mean, Smashville ultimately has the most volatile, or the most um, inhospitable center stage. If somebody claims center stage, it's just, you're just stuck trying to get back from ledge. <laughs> Three, two, one, yeah, and it, with that center platform, you can monopolize like two thirds of the stage with relative ease, especially if you have the aid of a tool like Gyro. Or turn up. So, 
Let's see if Big Boss is going to rue his decision or if he's going to be able to bring this one back. But right now, nice jockey for position. Of course, very appropriate ammo <laughs> crossing music for a hype game three between two excellent players. Uh, Rosso's starting to have a bit more success calling out some of Big Boss's more punishable aerial landings. Couple of parries, but, but oh, that down tilt still putting on more pressure. Good job by Rosso not to immediately try to press a button to get back to the stage and call it free that down air. A good recognition by Rosso getting that grab, Nair starter. Nair again, trying to get that turn up to just catch. Mid boss above ledge. No snipe again. And Rob's, again, Rob's low um, recovery options make it so hard for Peach to, in order to capitalize on the best aspect of Peach's game, which is ledge trapping. Up tilt! Oh my gosh, Rosal managed to just drift to the side enough for that back air to take Big Boss's stock. Uh oh, Big Boss might have been a big mistake here. But Nair, as I think it was just meant to be a simple combo breaker, but getting the sweet spot enabled him to get the kill too. Oh no! It's it, it's incredible that Rob's up smash sucks in that much. <laughs> oh, here come the gyro toss combos. Good job by Rob just to dip a little bit away. This game does have a different pace than the first two games in the matchup, don't you think, Brock? It does, and I'm surprised with, you know, how sort of back and forth this tends to be, especially because one player can really just make Smashville his or her own. Oh, uh, Razo in serious danger right now. Big Boss is taking so many of his resources, and a backer almost landed. Razo barely able to shield in time. So I'm called out around that turnip up into Peach's waiting arms. Uh, Razo just paying for trying to toy with Gyro yet again. Wow, the Peach Bomber actually warded it away just in time that back there. We've seen Big Boss get kills off of frame one tonight, so that was very, very close. Oh, just a re-grab. That's going to do it. Even without getting the platform uh, portion of that up throw, uh, Big Boss was just primed for the kill. Yeah, I think he was counting on getting that extra height, but going to kill nonetheless. Hey, Razo right now. Oh, he actually got one turn up snipe. Not going to get the second one, though. This wasn't strong enough to send uh, Big Boss down to the blast zone. Here comes those early percent Rob combos that make the characters so incredibly hard to come back against. Oh, excellent! Uh, Spot dodge to get the grab, but the second turn up going to hit. Wow, I cannot believe Big Boss recovered from that. Will he survive that throw? Yes, he does. Once again, Rob low on fuel now. Rosso being like, this is for the Earth. This is for your horrible fossil fuel emissions. Ah, and Big Boss, like the inevitable march of capitalism, fighting right back on the stage. At 210, there's not a lot in Peach's kit that won't kill. Ooh! Man, that booty. <laughs> the Peach back air is so strong, it's finally going to take Big Boss a second stock. Rosso, the... the the light is coming to a close right now. It is very, very tense for him, but he can still figure out a way. This is very much light game two where he made the comeback. Poking through another time he's parried that out the corner. Big, oh, excellent dash grab by Big Boss. This might do it. Oh, no. Rosa going out deep. Still surviving. Being able to bob and weave and avoid the gyro. Very risky, especially with Big Boss and shield. And up smash ends it. You see Big Boss is waiting for Raza to try and toy with Gyro and it's out again. So that back air. Now he's got Gyro at stage. Good grab by Raza. The mark of an excellently talented and practiced player. Of course, that is one way to prevent Rob's Gyro combos. Don't let him have the Gyro. Oh, no. Big Boss is ready for Raza's jumping theatrics there. Oh, my gosh! That gyro toss from nowhere might have almost uh, set the path for victory for Big Boss, but Razo. 93. We've seen Razo clutch out games like this. Excellent fair, forcing Big Boss to ledge, and what a grab! You see Big Boss has to play this so carefully. Razo's just punching every little mistake so well. Has kept a lot of things in the back. What? 
Was that Nair? Was that for Man, live by the frame one aerial that doesn't look like it actually came out and die by it too. I mean, that, that Nair didn't look like it existed. <laughs> by the skin of his teeth, Razo finally managed to advance after such a long game three, a longer game three than I think either of us expected given the Smashville pick. No, 